Greetings fellow humans, this is Chris Shara, Charm Noir, and shit is so fucking out of control with humanity that I have to start doing Sunday service, yup, and today's first lesson is on winter is coming. Now, if you saw a Game of Thrones and you saw winter was coming, winter was death. I don't know why motherfuckers out here celebrating. Talking about they living their best life, bitch, whatever. You're not in tune with the energies. So let's start off with five element theory. And winter is, again, like I said, the season of death. It rules the kidneys. It is ruled by the element of water. In the kidneys is the jing energy, which is also the sexual energy as well as the creative energy. Now, when you go to get an oriental medical exam, one of the things they ask you about is your lifestyle, your sexual lifestyle. Why? Because how you use your jing energy affects your health. Now, if you out here fucking your energy away, guess where your life force is going? Out your motherfucking genitals. This is the season to be hibernating. This season rules dormancy. Why? Because you need to recharge. Look at the planning cycle. We plant during the spring, we harvest during the fall, and we hibernate during the winter to rest up so we can have energy to do this shit all over again next year, not in January, in April, when the sun goes into Aries. There's too many motherfucking astrologers out here for y'all not to know this shit yet. During this season, we need to change our diet. I know this winter is about to be harsh as hell because my body is already starting to feel the effects of it. And what did I have to do? Saturn was like, you better correct yourself, correct myself immediately. Boosting my nutrients and vitamins. Why? Because most of us are out here nutrient deficient. It's not illness that we have. It's not disease that we have. We are nutrient deficient that we're mentally ill. So yes, it's the illness of the mind, but we'll get to that in a minute. But let's start with the dietary issues. You're not in sync with the earth and the seasons. Again, the season rules the kidneys. You need to be nourishing your kidneys. Chilling your gene out. drinking lots of water, staying hydrated, calming down your adrenal glands. Again, so you don't burn out next year. But because y'all so fucking disembodied, y'all already can't feel this shit. It's already fucking with you. Your energy is already fucking low. Your body is already tense in pain. Why? Because us empaths can already feel your shit. We have to go home and detox and cleanse ourselves daily from being around y'all sick asses. So let's talk about this full moon coming up in Gemini. On 12-12, at motherfucking 12-12. If this ain't a motherfucking portal, I don't know what the fuck is. So Gemini is ruled by Mercury. On this day, Mercury will, will be in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter just entered motherfucking Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is already in Capricorn, at home, the teacher. Venus is in Capricorn, Pluto is in Capricorn. I already told y'all, karma court is in session. I read an article the other day that talked about this full moon. It says it's all about adulting. Saturn rules us maturing, becoming disciplined, and growing the fuck up. With all these motherfucking planets there, it means holistically. Mind, body, and spirit. Grow the fuck up. Get your emotions together. 
get mentally and spiritually mature, get emotional intelligence, get in your fucking body so you can fucking feel. Everybody been so fucking traumatized, fucking numb out here. Can't even fucking feel shit. You got so much fucking soul loss. If y'all don't get to a motherfucking shaman and get some fucking soul retrieval, you about to see what's going to happen. Because you didn't do the fucking soul work, guess what? It's coming for your children. This ain't nothing new. We're dealing with an ancient plague here. Y'all remember Passover? Having to put crosses on your door to mark that you are safe from the angel of death that's coming. Angel of death. Winter is coming. If you don't believe, y'all seen that show Euphoria? You should watch it. Because they did an excellent job of showing how when parents don't heal, how their toxicity just spills over into their children. All that perversion, all that addiction, all that abuse. All that corruption in children it looks fucking disgusting it feels disgusting so y'all think y'all cute out here on social media y'all not y'all look fucking disgusting being around y'all children feels fucking disgusting y'all need to research wetico parasitic mind virus we are dealing with a so psycho spiritual war here y'all here playing games talking about y'all living y'all best life bitch we not we in fucking war right now Winter is coming. Y'all niggas not prepared for the war. Y'all have plenty of motherfucking time to get there, but because y'all ego so fucking big, y'all fucking got it so fucking much, you're not ready. And so Saturn's about to show you, and all these motherfucking plans about to show you where the fuck you need to correct yourself at, because your children about to display it all. Let me give you an example. Last night, we went to a Christmas program at a school. At it wasn't at a school. It was at a coffee house, but it was for a school. Now this is a self-directed school. These supposed to be even more highly enlightened parents, more in tune. These supposed to be children that are special and gifted. So this is this is not even just the gutter of humanity. These are supposed to be parents that can know a little something. As soon as I walked in that motherfucker, I felt a boosh in my energy field of anxiety and trauma. And as I sat there, I could feel the parasitic energy creeping into my back, digging and burrowing into my spinal cord and nervous system. I want to throw up. After the children got done performing, I had to put my earphones on so I could tune out all the sick ass thoughts that I was feeling and hearing from people. Even the children. Some of the most perverse shit was coming off the goddamn children. After I left out that bitch for a half hour, I had to listen to music to declutter myself of that energy. Going all the way to Bohemian Rhapsody had that shit snap me out to remind me that Beelzebub is fucking with niggas. My thoughts after I left out that bitch, not going in. Because I know myself. My energy is clear. I was in a great mood going into that bitch. By the time I left out that bitch, I, like I said, I was sick to my stomach. I wanted to kill someone. And I wanted to commit suicide. I literally saw visions of myself slitting my own wrist, hanging myself, jumping off bridges, stabbing other people, blowing shit the fuck up. Again, this is a children's event. With parents who's supposed to be woke. Y'all still think this is a fucking game? 